हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेवियर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर 18 मेंसुरेशन ओके एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एरिया पेरिमीटर ऑफ सम प्लेन फिगर्स लाइक ट्रायंगल rectangle square circle and the parallelogram okay so here exercise 18.1 the first problem the length and breadth of a rectangular field are in the ratio 9 is to 5 so it means here l is to b that one equal to 9 is to 5 so here length equal to 9x and breadth equal to here 5x where x is a constant okay a non zero constant if the area of the field is 1 4 so here area equal to 1 4 5 8 square meter or meter square so that means you know the formula the area of a rectangle that is l into b okay that means length into breadth so you can write down here 9x into 5x that one equal to here 1 4 5 8 0 so here x equal to 14580 divided by 45 because 95s are 45 okay so if you divide this one here you will get 324 okay so 324 so that means your x equal to root over 324 and it's 18 meter so if x equal to 18 then here length equal to 9 into 18 and breadth equal to here 5 into 18 clear so it's 162 meter and here 18 into 5 it's 90 meter find the cost of surrounding the field with a fence at the rate of rupees 3.25 per meter so that means first here you have to find out the perimeter because the length of the fence will be equal to the perimeter of the rectangle so here the formula of the perimeter that is 2 into l plus b so here 2 into length means 162 plus 90 okay so 162 plus 90 it's 252 multiply with 2 here 504 meter so now the cost for fencing Here rupees five zero four into as rate means three point two five, so that one equal to here one six three eight rupees as your answer. Now next number two. A rectangle is sixteen meter by nine meter. That means length equal to sixteen meter, breadth equal to here nine meter. find a side of a square whose area is equal the area of the rectangle so here area of the rectangle you know length into breadth that means 16 into 9 it's 144 meter square so now the area the area of the area of the square which is equal to the area of the rectangle that means 144 meter square so side of the square here 144 under root it's 12 meter by how much by how much does the perimeter of the rectangle exceed the perimeter of the square so here you have to find out the perimeter of the square that one equal to 2 sorry it's 4 4 side that means 4 into 12 so here 48 meter and here perimeter of the rectangle it's 2 into length plus breadth so it's 50 meter that means the perimeter of the rectangle is 2 meter exit okay here 4 50 minus 48 so 2 meter exit than the square now next one sum number 3 two adjacent side of a parallelogram are 24 and 18 so here this one the parallelogram 
it's 18 and 24 if the distance between the longer side is 12 so distance between perpendicular distance so that one equal to here 12 because this one is the longer side these two sides are longer so here distance 12 find the distance between the shorter side so here the base of the parallelogram that one equal to here 24 and here the side one side this one here that one equal to a suppose this one equal to a and this one equal to b so here b equal to 24 as the base and here the perpendicular height equal to 12 so you can easily find out the area so the area of the parallelogram is base into height that means b into h okay so here b equal to 24 so 24 into 12 meter square that one is the it's centimeter square okay so centimeter square that one is the area of the parallelogram now here you have to find out the perpendicular distance of the shorter sides so that means here you have to find out the length of that grid one so now you consider this one this one is the base okay you can consider this one is the base of the parallelogram so that means here 18 into h suppose that green one is h that one equal to again the area of the same parallelogram that means 24 into 12 so here h equal to 24 into 12 divided by 18 okay so here 2 9 sorry that one 9 that one 6 and that one here 9 so 3 8 and 3 3 so 3 2 that means here 16 okay so 16 centimeter is the distance between the shorter side now next sum number 4 rajesh has a square plot with the measurement as shown in the adjoining figure so here in the adjoining figure this one is a square okay it's 24 24 he wants to construct a house in the middle of the plot so here the house in the middle of the plot that one equal to here 18 and 12 is the breadth a garden is developed around the house find the total cost developing the garden and the house at the rate of rupees 50 per meter square so that means here this portion is the garden this green portion is the garden so that means first here you have to find out the total plot okay find out the area of the total plot so here the area of the square plot so here length equal to 24 so 24 into 24 okay and it's 576 576 here meter square now next you have to find out the area of the house so area of the house here length equal to 18 breadth equal to 12 so area means length into breadth that one equal to 216 meter square so now the area of the garden so area of the garden will be here 576 minus 216 and that one equal to here 360 meter square so now the costing equal to here 360 into here the rate is rupees 50 so that means you have to multiply with rupees 50 so here rupees 18,000 is your answer next one sum number five a flooring tile has a shape of parallelogram whose base is 18 centimeter and the corresponding height so here base of the tile is 18 centimeter and here height of the tile equal to 6 centimeter in the form of parallelogram so that means here area of each tile that one equal to base into height so 18 into 6 centimeter square how many such tile are required to cover the floor of area so here floor area floor area equal to here 540 meter square so as here this one is meter square so 540 into 100 okay it's decimeter and again double zero it's centimeter so that one equal to centimeter square so here number of tiles equal to 5401234 then divided by 18 into 6 18 divided by this one here it's 301234 then 6 divided by this one here 51234 
okay that means 50000 so 50000 is your answer it's 50000 now the next one sum number 6 now sum number 6 this is the last sum for this video so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here an ant is moving around a few foot pieces of different shapes and scattered on the floor okay so these are the three foot pieces a b and c for which foot piece would the ant have to take longer round that means each and every case you have to find out the perimeter of that shapes so here the first one so first one here is a semicircle okay and here the radius will be half of the diameter that means 2.8 so here diameter equal to 2.8 the radius equal to here 1.4 so the perimeter equal to the formula here pi r plus 2 r okay pi r plus 2 r so that means here if r will be common then 2 plus pi r will be common 2 plus pi so that means here r means here 1.4 then 2 plus pi means you can write down 3.14 is the value of the pi so here 3.14 plus 2 it's 5.14 into 1.4 that one equal to here 7.196 okay 7.196 is the perimeter for the first one so it's centimeter now next one number 2 that is number b so in that case first here you have to find out the perimeter of the length of that portion it's pi r then you have to add that one and that one that means 1.5 two times and then you have to add this one it's 2.8 okay so here the perimeter will be here the perimeter 2.8 plus 1.5 into 2 and the last one here pi r pi r means here pi means you know that 3.14 and r means here half of 2.8 so 1.4 okay so that means here 2.8 plus 3 so 2.8 plus 3 and last one here 3.14 okay here 3.14 into 1.4 it's 4.396 so finally here 2.8 plus 3 with this one it's 10.196 clear now the last one so for the last one here the length of this portion is pi r then you have to add this two and then this two so in that case here perimeter equal to pi r means here 3.14 then r means here 1.4 then plus 2 again plus 2 okay so 3.14 into 1.4 it's 4.396 plus 4 that means here 8.396 okay so here you have to find out that for which food piece would the end have to take longer round so here 10.196 that is the longer length so your answer is 6b